What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Rocky Mountain Medic here. Just thought I'd do a quick video. <clears throat> uh, first, my Moretti with some 1Q uh, from AGS Mom 1. Thanks, Amber. Just mailed off my uh, ballot <clears throat> here in. Uh, Colorado, at least, I don't know about anywhere else, um, you have the option uh, of getting a mail-in ballot. It's, it's, just, it's a really big, humongous sheet that you unfold and fill in all the boxes and everything. And then they give you an envelope and you send it in. Of course, you have to put your own stamp on it, because why would the government want you to vote, right? But on it there was a vote for an amendment that I had not um, been familiar with. I haven't seen anything about it. It was uh, It's Colorado amendment, no amendment number 64. Now here in Colorado and uh, I know a lot of other states, um, medicinal marijuana is, uh, is legal. Uh, although under federal law it's illegal, but um, Somehow they get by. I'm not really sure how that works. But Amendment 64, um, I'm not, I'm not going to read it verbatim because it's kind of really wordy and hard to understand sometimes, but essentially they're wanting to make it so they can treat marijuana in Colorado like alcohol. Um, as of right now, you have to be seen by a physician and uh, given a prescription uh, card. You get this green card, uh, and that lets you go into the dispensaries and uh, and buy any amount of weed that you want, as long as you can afford it. And this is not saying lit for me. Sorry. I kind of packed this in a hurry. Um, but like I said, essentially they're wanting to treat it kind of like, um, alcohol, meaning if you were 21 or old, older, you're going to be allowed to, um, consume or carry a limited quantity of marijuana without the prescription card, essentially. Um, so you'll be able to essentially go into a dispensary and just show your driver's license or state ID or whatever and um, as long as you're 21 you can buy a certain amount and pay quite a bit of taxes on it um, now the amendment also says our proposed amendment that the oh, there's a cat in the background the uh, first forty million dollars of revenue each year that comes from the taxes on people buying marijuana is to go to the uh, the public school systems in the state um, and I'm assuming um, research and testing and cultivation and stuff like that you know for medicinal marijuana to ensure safety. Um, so I came across that. It was the last thing on the ballot. I, I think it was the last thing on there. And uh, it kind of struck me. I was uh, not really sure how, how to vote on that. I have nothing against marijuana, people who smoke marijuana, medicinal marijuana, whatever. Uh, I don't smoke marijuana, um, namely because I have and I don't feel like I need to anymore, uh, and um, my job does not allow it. Uh, as a paramedic, I'm responsible for carrying narcotics around for a living, so they don't really want people using drugs and giving narcotics. Um, and other drugs that could potentially kill people if you give them the wrong way. But 
But um, I thought about it for a while and decided to uh, to vote yes on that. That I think that would be a pretty good idea, <clears throat> and it seems as though um, most of the state thinks the same way. Uh, and I think the last I just happened to jump on here and read some of the the polls is like I said we do mail in a lot of us do mail in ballots in Colorado rather than go to the polling place so they can kind of tally it up before election day um, and right now it's something like 53 percent are supporting it <clears throat> um, so I guess you know I have my own reasons for for supporting it I think that the tax revenue would be good especially if it's going to be earmarked to go to the public school system I plan to have kids one day and they're going to be going to public schools because I'm a paramedic and I make no money, uh, so I can't afford private schooling. But um, I think um, there are other reasons for that. You know, I'm I'm not a not a cop for sure, but I've definitely seen my fair share of crimes, especially violent crimes, and in, in uh, over the last eight years of doing this, and um, never once have I seen any kind of crime or violent crime or um, car accident or a anything really that um, marijuana was a contributing factor. Um, alcohol is way more dangerous. Um, heroin, way more dangerous. I've seen, I've never seen anybody overdose on marijuana. I don't think that's possible. I've seen tons and tons of people overdose on heroin, methamphetamine, bath salts, you know, alcohol. Um, and I think those things are much more dangerous, especially alcohol. Alcohol is, in my medical opinion, far more dangerous than marijuana, um, even with the the smoke. I mean, yeah. Man, this does not want to stay lit. So um, I guess my question is, what does everybody else think about that? If if you were in the position that I was in to vote on this amendment, wherever you are, um, and if you want to tell me, that's fine, how would you vote? And why would you vote that way? Um, I know some of my family members who would probably vote against it, um, and it's primarily a lack of knowledge, and um, a religious background. Um, but like I said, I've never once seen marijuana be a contributing factor to some bad, horrific incident. The worst I've ever seen is, you know, somebody has some asthma problem or something from smoking, and that's going to happen with cigarettes, which are legal. Um, you know, so it's already, it's already, uh, you know, all over the place. Um, I think more crime happens because of it, because of people trying to hide it and people trying to keep it from the law. Um, not to mention all the money we spend on trying to fight it um, that could be much better spent on fighting um, DUIs or even, you know, the harder drugs. Like I said, um, you know, methamphetamine, heroin, those are the two big ones. Um, or even trying to start some sustainability within our own country. I don't know. I'm not trying to get too political or preachy, but um, just curious as to what everybody else thought about that. I, like I said, I just filled this out a little while ago, and it kind of uh, took me by surprise when I read it. So, anyway, that's all I had to say. This video has gone on far longer than I intended to, but let me know what you think. Have a good one.